So I'm here at SEMA 2021 at the Kaizen Speed Booth. I'm here with Vadim. Can you go ahead and go over a little bit about your guys' product? Sure, so this is called the Kaizen Relay. It's a 40 amp solid state relay, and it just replaces the normal click-click relay that everyone has seen and hates wiring up. The big thing is that they're interconnectable, so they break apart and they share power and ground. So as you buy one, you wire it up. The next day, the next week, you need another one, you just click them together, and now they share power and ground and you just need an output wire. So it can be wired in as a normal relay on a switch. And that can kind of see that working here. We have input and output indicators. And in the case that it doesn't work, we also have a test button. How many times have we jumped the relay or said, hey, can you see if it's clicking? Can you hear it clicking? All That's the what the test button's for, right? <laughs> um, along with that, they're also gangable. So power only has to go into one. And then these are all powered. So even though power's coming into this fuel pump module, this is going into the fan controller right here. Right, and then we got lights here. So it's really just an inter interconnectable 40 amp solid state relay. It's resistant to vibration, environment, all that good stuff that you get with good electronics. So let me ask you this, in terms of savings in, of like time when you're setting it up, how much time do you think you'll save, like from zero to 100%, how much time do you think you'll save when wiring a, up a system like this versus a traditional set of relays? Sure, so because you only have to really wire in the first one, you don't have to run all that thick wire from the battery to the relays. Along with that, because they're self-healing, if there's an overcurrent situation, they shut themselves down, which means you don't have to add a fuse. So everyone, as long as you fuse the first one, the rest are all fused which means that you don't need to add extra wires and it's just a you know, pretty easy system to wire in all together. And so I don't think I actually asked you this before, but what are the amp ratings on these? Yep, so each relay can do 40 amps and if they're ganged up, you're really only limited by the wire size of the one feeding the bank. So each relay can do 40 amps. So let's say we're setting this up in an old school vehicle. We're gonna run like, let's say a two gauge wire from the battery all the way to the cab. Maybe we'll add either a circuit breaker or a fuse right exactly. after the battery. Yep. We run that into the cab. We'll run it into the first one yep. and that'll feed the rest. Correct, so you can see that here. We have one power wire in and the rest are just outputs for the devices. And same with the ground. You need a very small ground. You don't need a power ground and you can put that to the chassis along with your devices. All right, so it actually looks like this is something that a lot of people don't really consider when they're setting up their cars because uh, people assume that when you set up your wires, it's all one and done, but a lot of people who have ongoing projects, they need to add more relays, that's when you guys come in and it's just easier to just tack on a couple of more relays on the side and then add the, the, the output wires to it. Exactly, this system grows with you. So you do the first, then a week later, a second, a year later, a third, it just grows with the system. Excellent, well thank you so much. I'm sure this will probably help a lot of people trying to do their custom builds and custom wiring. Yeah. I know I'm probably gonna need it when I do yeah. the light bars on my truck, so. I'll hook you up. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.